everybody, it's Sam at Mixer Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. So this tutorial kickstarts my Father's Day series. So I'm not gonna do back-to-back -back tutorials like I usually do. So I am only gonna do maybe four, maybe five projects, but they're gonna be kind of split. Maybe I might do maybe two this week and maybe one next week and then maybe another one the week after, something like that. But they're not gonna be back-to-back -back because I've got lots of other things that I also need to share each week. So. What I have done is this really lovely wash bag. Now this isn't my design at all. This is actually by a lady who, her YouTube channel was Papercraft Button. And it was actually my mum that used to watch her and got me into watching her years ago. Um, but she no longer has a YouTube channel anymore and all of her videos have gone as well. And that's actually the same thing that Intertwined Design she mentions at the beginning of hers, because she's also done this. Hers is a slightly, slightly bigger. She's using A4, whereas I've done in between A4 and in between letter size, just so that I, I just want more people to be able to use their normal size card rather than cutting into 12 by 12. It's a lovely design, it's really fun. And the nice thing about this is when you open it up, it holds very nicely. This has been drunk, I kept the bottle <laughs> just to prove. This is just a little bottle of wine. So, but there are, you know, many miniature bottles. You could put some lovely miniature whiskies in here or any kind of spirit really. But also you can pop other gifts in here as well. It doesn't have to be alcohol based. You, this could be filled with sweets. You know, there's, there's lots of things you can do with this, but you can see that it fits in there really nicely. This all folds down and then it's kind of a self-closing, but it does need a bit of help. So on the side of all of your tabs are little Velcro dots. And then I finished mine off. This is a paper pack by first edition this is the grand plans so this isn't a new one it's been around for a while but i will find some links if possible and i will share them um, on my blog it's a lovely pack i don't have a lot of papers geared towards guys because it's not something i do a lot of so this one is a bumper pack 48 sheets and it's just that one that i can go to and it just fits you know lots of occasions so yeah it's just a good one and you would have seen that in a few tutorials I think that I've done in the past okay it's actually pretty straightforward so I've already gone and done one half and it actually reminds me of my Chinese fruit box so if you've done that and you've enjoyed that box and you'll really like this one as well so that is the one that I've already done because you will need two of exactly the same and then just some paper to mat and then or to decorate even and then I've got that same sentiment again and some Velcro dots and these little bits for my tab. Okay, so you want two pieces that are 11 by eight and a quarter. So if you are in the States or outside of the UK, yours will be eight and a half by 11. You just need to bring yours into eight and a quarter. And for us in the UK, ours is already eight and a quarter wide. You will just need to bring down your A4 down to 11 inches. That way I just thought everybody can use their standard size cardstock. So along the 11 inch side you want to score at half an inch three and three and a half inches. Okay, then rotate your cardstock and you're going to score at three inches all the way down and then at six inches past the first score line and down to the second. Okay, and then at seven and a quarter all the way down and seven and three quarters all the way down. Then rotate your cardstock back again and you want to score at two past the first score line and down to the second. And that's just a marker really, that score line, okay? And you want to do that twice. Okay, so now you want to go and burnish all of your score lines. Okay, and then we need to do a couple of score lines freehand. So where you had that two inch score line that just came down to here, this is along your long inch, your, this is along the long side, it's just that little score line that we've done. The bottom of that, you want to score from there down to this corner, and then there down to this corner. So you're working within this rectangle here. Okay, so from that score line, nice and neat, because this is gonna form your closure. So make sure you get your joins all nicely, um, you know, joined up, <laughs> like so. I'll just bring that up so you can see. So I've just come down from that little score line and just across to the bottom left and bottom right of that rectangle section there. Okay, I've got a bit of, I think I must have had a greasy finger there. I've got a greasy finger mark, but that's gonna get covered. So that is what you need. And you'll need to do that again, like I said, twice. And then we can do some cutting. So all very easy. The bottom left-hand corner, when you've got it in this orientation, you will have this tiny little rectangle. You want to remove that completely. OK, 
okay and then just take a little wedge off of this piece because that's going to form your tab and take a little wedge off of the bottom of that one then go along to this score line and just cut up that one and again just cut a wedge off of that okay so that's what you've got so far and then you're going to turn the whole thing around so now you will have these two score lines facing you and this whole section so you're going to cut down to the second score line so you're just cutting away those two there and then you're going to remove that whole section like so and then you'll have this tab here okay and then just take a little wedge off of that one there like so and then you just want to just create two mountain folds on that one there okay like so. Then before we stick it all together you want to get your paper that you're going to decorate and this is going to sit inside. I've got a very very small border okay just a small one it's not even one eighth of an inch or maybe it just yeah it's just about one eighth of an inch. This piece here measures four and a half by seven and three eighths of an inch okay and that is going to stick in there and it is going to overhang up there because when we fold this tab down it will cover it and you'll get a really nice finish. So I'm going to stick this one down like so and then the very top half an inch tab I'm just going to add some glue and fold that one down and just get your bone folder and just kind of make sure everything is stuck down nicely. Okay so you will now have two of these so here's one I made earlier and I'm going to stick this tab to this side here focus on your bottom score line your base score line get that one all lined up okay and they should just finish just below that that half an inch tab there so again I'm going to add my glue and just sit that one over the top So you'll see what I mean about it feeling like the fruit box that I made and I'll link that one in up here as well because anybody new to the channel that one was done quite a while ago now um, again very popular so you might want to check that one out okay then fold the whole thing over fold this over and it should meet up perfectly with that one so again you just want to add some glue and just let that all lie down and then I've got my choose what you want to have as your front or your back and you want to stick it down I mean you can do it when it's all put together if you want but I like to just stick it down while it's flat in fact no I'm going to do it when it's all together because I'm just going to add some foam adhesive to that so I'm just going to leave it as it is but now you should have this so turn it upside down so you've got your base and I always like to put down one side and then the tabs and then that side that way you get obviously your the bottom's nice but inside you don't see any of your tabs so decide what you want to be your front or your back i really don't mind in this case so this is going to be the back so this goes down first i'm just going to run some glue just in there pop each tab down pop some more glue on each of those and then stick that all down, turn it over and with my ruler I'm just going to go in there just make sure it's all flat okay and then with these pieces here what you want to do is just kind of before you pull down the sides just roll this just very carefully just kind of roll it a little bit just to help it kind of you know want to go in that direction like so and then these sides as you push that in your side pieces will fold down and like I said it is kind of a self locking it, it can hold itself there if there wasn't so much of this card kind of wanting to still pop back out but you can see now how you get that but I like this effect because that's what a wash bag looks like so you want it to to have that kind of pop to it anyway because that's what gives it its look okay and then you need these two pieces here so this is half an inch by two and a half 
and you're going to stick these underneath each of these pieces here. So I'm just going to add a strip of glue and just stick that one down. If you line up the end with the score line there, then you know that you've got it nice and straight. So I'm just going to do this one here. Okay, and then I've got these tiny little Velcro dots, and these are by the brand Velcro. One side is clear and one side is white. So the clear side I want to have on this bit here, so that when you do lift it up, see, no one can see it. So I'm going to stick the white side onto my tab. You can also colour them, so if you do have white ones, whatever cardstock you have, just colour it. So I'm just going to leave that one like that for the minute and just add one onto the other side. Okay, and again, bring them down and then you will be able to stick your tab down. And this side here, stick your tab down and then just check that that's all stuck nice. I'm just going to bring up this side here, just make sure my Velcro is really stuck down because it should go clear in colour. In fact, I've got a little bit hanging off there. There we go, that would have really bugged me. It just looks much neater if I push that one down there and that one. There we go. So this is my front. So now it will just fold very easily into place. Obviously put your gifts in there. And then I've just added my foam adhesive onto the back there. And then I'm just going to have this one about there. So there you have it. That's my version of the men's wash bag, gift bag. I think it's brilliant. I love that it fits a bottle of wine in there. And um, you can, you know, fit some nice aftershave inside. You can put, you know, three nice pairs of socks in there. It's great. So this is going to be a good one for Christmas, birthdays, anything really. I think it's really fun. And of course, this can be made in, you know, more feminine colours as well. There's no reason why this can't be, uh, you know, a, a girl's design. Um, but I think it works really well for the guys. So there you have it. I hope you like the first tutorial for my Father's Day series. Like I said, I do have some more, but they're going to be kind of spread out. But you will have plenty of time to make them in time for Father's Day. So that's all from me today, guys. I'll be back again soon with another tutorial. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.